open your low water drains, your hot water and your cold water drain. Just leave that open. And you may not have valves on your low water drains. Some campers don't have valves down there, so you'll just have to take the caps, caps off. Open your fresh water drain, or if you have to take the cap off, take the cap off. Leave that open for a little while. Now find the cover on the outside of your camper. It should look similar to mine, where your hot water heater drains are at. And you're going to want to open the pressure relief valve right here. Then take the drain plug out of the bottom of your hot water heater. Should be right at the bottom of that compartment. And just leave that out until we're done. Okay, while you're waiting for that to finish draining, you can go inside your camper and find your hot water heater inside your camper, which should just be on the other side of the wall you just were on, and you're going to open your bypass. They're not all exactly the same. Mine just has one valve to shut the water going into my hot water heater, and then I'm going to open this little you can see that little white valve down there. Open that up and then the water will just bypass. So when I put my RV antifreeze in, it will not fill my hot water heater. You don't want to put three or five gallons in your hot water heater. Okay, now you can go and shut your low water drains off, your hot water, your cold water, and also go shut your fresh water drain, or put the caps back on, whatever you have. And put your plug back in your hot water heater. I leave mine real loose, uh, just in case I miss any water or anything. I don't want to ruin my hot water heater. Now I got a airline hooked to my fresh water inlet, and I'm going to blow air through my entire system. I like to do this just to make double sure that I have all the water out of my system. You're going to blow your outside shower, your toilet, your sink, your shower, everything.
make sure you do the hot side and the cold side and maybe just do it a couple times back and forth. Okay, on my camper, I have a winterization tube already all plumbed into it. It just comes off the back side of my water pump. Um, right back there, there's a brass valve. And that other white line goes to my fresh water tank that I normally don't ever use. Um, now that brass valve is like a bypass valve. I'm going to go back here and turn that valve so it's going to, so it will make it so it will, will not suck from my fresh water tank, but it will suck from this hose. Then I'm going to stick in all these gallons of antifreeze I got. So, yeah, my valve is really hard to see. I'm going to do that and I'm going to shut this video down and do that. Now go turn on your water pump so you can suck the RV antifreeze out of the one gallon jugs. This should only take about two to three jugs depending on the size of your camper if you have one of them winterization tubes. Now I'm going to just go open my hot and my cold water on all my faucets till I see the pink antifreeze coming out and on my toilet and my outside shower and if you have a outside sink don't forget that I forgot that the first year and I had to end up buying myself a new faucet if you do not have a winterization tube you can also just buy six or seven gallons of um, RV antifreeze and fill up your fresh water tank and then turn your pump on and do the same thing I'm doing right now. Okay, when you get all the antifreeze filled up in all your sinks and showers, turn off your water pump. Now to keep the critters away. I've been doing this every winter. I just take a whole box of dryer sheets and I throw them all over my camper in every cabinet and cupboard and my bed and the closets. And it seems to keep all the mice away and your camper smells beautiful. going to tell you just throw them in all the little nooks and crannies where you think some mice might make a mess. I'll throw some in here. I have some even that I found from last winter. I'll throw some down in there. 
Uh, I can throw some in these cabinets. Nice thing is it's going to keep my camper smelling pretty. Throw some down under the sink. Throw some in, in my drawers. All these cabinets, I throw them everywhere. I just take that whole box and throw it everywhere. I'll throw some down inside here. And I have an outdoor sink under there. I'll throw a few in there. Which I didn't show you much of that because somebody decided to park my camper really close to this pole. But there's a sink in there. All right, I'm going to put all the rest of these out. And stay tuned, I'm going to go over a few more things. Okay, last things I do is make sure my propane... Make sure my propane is shut off. I have one of my, other, one of my tanks off because it's empty. So I'm going to go get it filled. And unhook your battery. I already have mine unhooked. Um, I also like to mark my wires because some reason on my camper my positive wire is the black wire which normally I would think that would be negative but on mine the positive is this black wire and my negative wire is the white wire so I mark them so I don't goof that up. And I'm going to take this inside and put it in my garage and probably put it on a charger and make sure it's fully charged and then just let it sit over the winter inside my garage not on the concrete they say it's not good to store it on the concrete um, make sure your tires are covered up for the winter I always do that when I park my camper anytime and then if you don't have a nice roof like I built over my camper maybe you can purchase a cover to put over it not a tarp a tarp will not let it breathe if you buy a cover the covers will let let your camper breathe and last but not least I like to write myself a little note for when I go camp for, for so I do not forget when I go camping for the first time that I have to connect my battery, close my bypass on the hot water heater, put my plug back in my hot water heater that I left out just slightly, just in case somehow I've missed some water somewhere. I don't want to ruin my hot water heater. They're about $300 if you ruin your hot water heater. And flush out all the antifreeze. that helped you out winterizing your RV um, please like and or hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel it helps my video get out there so other people can see it uh, it takes a real long time to make these videos so if you could do that I could, I'd really appreciate it and um, subscribe to my channel I'm gonna make a lot more other videos on um, do DIY things around the house just so you don't got to pay somebody to do this. If you would take this to an RV park, it's probably going to cost you a couple hundred dollars. And I think I paid uh, $250 at Walmart for the RV antifreeze. And really, it didn't take much else other than them dryer sheets. I didn't see any videos on YouTube using dryer sheets, but it seems to keep all the critters away from my um, camper over the winter. So, have a good winter. Thanks. Bye.